Today's tip is to sink into squats. Squats, you know them, but you may not love them. Or maybe you think they don't love you. Squats are one of the most functional exercises there is. So if you're not doing them on a regular basis, let's fix that now. And if squats are currently part of your fitness routine, then you will also want to keep listening because you'll get some great tips on form and ways to improve your squat so you'll get the full benefits every time. So why am I dedicating an entire episode to just one exercise? Well, like I, said, like I just mentioned, it is one of the most functional exercises around. That means that it's an exercise that will not only benefit your physical health by improving your lower body strength, it will tran also translate into improvements in your daily life. Just think about how many times you squat on a normal day. You squat getting in and out of bed, getting on and off the toilet, and in and out of chairs. You squat to pick something up off the floor, getting in and out of your car, and going up and down stairs. Do you get where I'm going with this? Squats are life, and proper squatting technique ensures a long, healthy, and independent life. Here are a few other reasons to sink into squats. They work so many muscles. One squat involves your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, adductors or inner thighs, hip flexors, calves, abs, and lower back. Not many exercises can claim to recruit so many muscles at the same time. Because they work so many muscles, they require a lot of energy and therefore offer a really nice calorie burn during exercise and at rest. As I also mentioned earlier, squats not only develop leg strength, they also work out your core and the stabilizing muscles of the hips, knees, and ankles. These muscles help you to maintain balance while also improving the communication between your brain and your muscle groups, which helps prevent falls. This strength and stabilization also means a reduction in your risk of injury during other activities. Since squatting is a load-bearing exercise, performing them regularly keeps your bones strong. And here's a benefit you might not know, Squats can improve your digestion and circulation. How? Well, the speed in which fluids travel through your body is improved when exercising your leg muscles. This allows more oxygen and nutrients to travel through your organs, including your intestinal tract. So, now do you see why you shouldn't skip out on squats? Now I know that there is some resistance to squats despite all of these great benefits. Many people have knee or back issues and are afraid that squats will make it worse. Or maybe you've been told that squats aren't good for your knees or your lower back. So if you're concerned at all, it's extremely important to consult with your doctor to make sure that there aren't any underlying issues that need to be addressed before you add squats to your regular fitness routine. But the truth is that squats done properly will improve the health of your knees and back by building the muscles that support them and reducing any undue pressure on those joints. So, how do you properly perform a squat? Well, I'll give you some tips here, but follow the link in the show notes where you'll find these tips along with photos and some other variations. Proper squatting technique is critical to ensure you maximize the benefits and prevent injury. 
proper squatting form also requires mobility and flexibility in the hips and ankles, as well as full activation of the glutes and inner thighs. If you have trouble with squats, working on mobility and glute activation is the best place to start. I'll post a link in the show notes to my Mobility Monday videos and you can also go back and listen to episode 8 on glutes. So here are some guidelines to consider when performing a squat. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart and your feet parallel to each other. Side note, depending on how you're built, you can play with this by making your feet slightly wider than a shoulder width and angling them slightly outward. Just make sure that your knees and your toes are pointing and remain pointing in the same direction and make sure that your knees don't fold inward. Next, keep your chest up, engage your abs and shift your weight onto the heels as you push your hips back into a sitting position. Lower your hips until your thighs are parallel or almost parallel to the floor. You should feel the squat in your thighs and glutes. Pause with your knees over but not beyond your toes. Exhale and push back up into the starting position. If you find it challenging to keep your chest up, like you tend to bend forward slightly when you squat, weak glutes might be to blame. If you can't squat very low, you might want to work on your ankle mobility or hip mobility. So again, follow the link in the show notes for some hip, ankle, and ankle mobility drills. Once you master the basic squat, you can increase the intensity and add some variety by adding weights or trying other squat variations like split stance squats or lunges, back squats, overhead squats, or jump squats. Again, make sure to talk to your doctor or healthcare provider before starting any new exercise or fitness program. So, as you can tell, squats are a fairly simple movement. We do them many times in our daily life, but they also require a complex coordination of a range of joints, muscles, and ligaments. This makes it not only an important exercise to master, but also an essential part of your healthy lifestyle. Start perfecting your squat today and see improvements in your muscle tone, bone density, flexibility, mobility, and overall fitness and health. Willpower not required.